Hey, welcome back to the most innovative shipping container channel on YouTube. And I wanted to show you a very simple solar system you could use to power a container off grid. Now, our company name is Simple Shipping Container. So this is a simple solar system. And I like to keep things really simple and affordable for the customer. And this is right in line with that, but it's still a very nice system. So this would charge phones, run lights. It's not gonna run air conditioning. And this is a little bit smaller panel than we're going to run on top of the container. Um, but this is 24 volts and I'll go through that. So if you plop a container down out somewhere that's maybe rural or a hunting lodge or it's out in a farm field and you want lights or maybe to charge some tool batteries, um, phones, uh, you could you could run a microwave off this if you wanted so uh, high wattage items for short periods of time uh, this would work great for that and I think it keeps it affordable but it's all really uh, good quality stuff so basically we've got a hybrid 1500 watt uh, I think it's 2000 watt max hybrid charge controller inverter so the charge controller for the batteries and solar system is built into this inverter this is a eco-worthy MPPT uh, charge controller, and we've got the eco-worthy 12 volt batteries. Now on these simple systems, I don't use 48 volt batteries because most of your 48 volt batteries are for bigger stuff and you don't really find a lot of 48 volt small batteries that would be appropriate for this system. Uh, all my other solar stuff, anything bigger, I use all 48 volt because all your wire is thinner it's just a cleaner way to do it and most of that stuff's all 48 but in this case we're going to run 24 volts so there's not a ton of 24 volt hybrid uh, solar inverter chargers on the market uh, this is one of them so this is an amazon product this is about 250 bucks these batteries are like um i want to say 100 bucks a piece uh, the batteries are 30 amp hours a piece at 12 volts so that's going to give you 360 watts or 0 0.360 kilowatt hour and there's two of them so that's 720 kilowatt hour or 0 0.720 kilowatt hour of total power so you can run a 720 watt item for one hour off these batteries if you had no incoming power from the panel so like i said with this system we're just looking to charge batteries run lights you can run this LED strip, just with a 48 inch LED. This is gonna light the container up really well. I think this probably pulls uh, five watts, eight watts, something like that. Uh, it's LED, it's very bright. So it's gonna run this light, I mean, just for days with no charge. And like I said, charging batteries and things like that, this is gonna work great. So basically how this goes, you can see with a 24 volt system, we've got our batteries wired in series so we've got negative positive jumped over to a negative and then the positive and negative going to the inverter this is your battery input this is your pv or solar panel input that is like a 20 or 30 watt gate uh solar panel 24 volt you need to make sure if you're running a 24 volt system you you run at least a 24 volt panel this is an mppt charge controller so if you ran a 36 volt panel this would be okay. It will jump the voltage down appropriately. MPPT means that you can run higher voltage panels in strings or uh, singly uh, into the MPPT and you don't have to mate that perfectly with what the voltage is of your battery system. So without an MPP charge controller, you would, if you had a 24 volt battery system, you'd have to run a 24 volt panel uh, with MPPT, which pretty much everything is anymore. You can run any voltage of panel uh, that the inverter allows come in. I think this inverter allows up to 150 volts, but we're not running anything big on this at all. Um, like I said, this is 1500 watts, so it would do a lot of power, but we're not trying to accomplish running mini splits or anything off of this. So we've got uh, 250, 450, about $500 in electronics here. Uh, we will mount this on the wall in a box in the container with the batteries it does have just a uh, regular 120 outs on it so we will run those into a junction box and then run conduit in the container so we'll run uh two or three or four outlets a light switch and the light and that's it um then we will put the uh, panel on top of the container you can come into the container with your 
solar panel wires. Uh, they make waterproof glands that you can bolt onto the container, or you can go through one of the plastic vents on the container if you don't want to drill any more holes. Um, I don't really like drilling through the walls of containers, especially new ones, if I can avoid it. Um, so there you go, that's the system. So we will add this onto a newer used container. Uh, it'll be totally self-sufficient. So someone walks in, like I said, they want lights, charge some batteries, put it in an area, and just have some power out there. This will accomplish that. You could always upgrade uh, panels and batteries with this system. This inverter is good, you know, up to quite a bit of wattage. So this is a really good way to run one of these systems and get your feet wet with solar and understand the process and how everything works. This sort of system is what you would run, uh, let's say, a light out by your shed where you don't have power. You'd run a little system like this to run that light. The other thing I want to say is they're on Amazon, they are selling um, solar motion lights. They look like uh, street lamps. And let's say they're two feet long uh, and a foot wide. They are rating those things at 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 watts. And they're saying, you know, they'll run 30% power through the night. And then when motion hits, they will come on to 100%. And the lumen rating on those lights is like the, the most popular ones I saw on Amazon. The lumens on that light were like 250,000 lumens. Well, I can tell you right now, these two batteries, they're about 10 pounds each. I don't think those lights even have this amount of batteries in them. But if you were to put these two batteries in a motion powered light with this size of panel on top, this is pretty similar to what the wattage is on those lights that they're selling on Amazon. Again, these are motion LED, like uh, shop lights. They kind of look like uh, street lamps. They're, these batteries would run that light. That's 720 watts of power. If that light is what they claim it is, which is like 1,000 watts or whatever, it would run that light for 45 minutes. And at 30%, it would run it for a couple hours. So they are way over claiming what these lights are doing. I have some... Uh, 400 watt parking lot lamps out in my lot and they're 56,000 lumens. I got them off Amazon. They are big heavy duty lights and they're extremely bright. Uh, they're pulling 400 watts and those things are way brighter than those motion lights that they're selling on Amazon that they're claiming to have 150, 250,000 lumens. So just watch what you buy. It's not possible to put enough battery in a lamp up in the air that's not going to weigh a hundred pounds to give you any sort of really bright light. It's just not possible. Uh, the lithium batteries weigh what they do and there's no way around it. So I hope this uh, kind of helps. If you got questions on this system or where I got any of it, uh, let me know. Um, SignatureSolar.com is another good website. So thanks for watching and like and share.